Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Yelangu L3 Auto Dolly, which is a small electric motorized dolly that I accidentally stumbled upon on the internet and I definitely do not regret. <music> This little thing right here is what the makers of it are calling an auto dolly. When I first saw this thing, I was so intrigued by it that I wanted to know what it was. Simply put, this is a mini dolly device with three wheels that allows you to mount your camera and add an extra level of dynamic ness to your shots. As simple as that sounds, this thing is actually really cool and inexpensive. It's one of those things that feel like a neat party trick that you can always pull out on a shoot and get everyone's attention. The unboxing is as straightforward as it can possibly get. The device is shipped in its official box from factory, so no extra box for protection or padding or anything like that. In the box, we have the manual at the very top, which has very basic usage instructions. Underneath it is the dolly itself, and right off the bat, it is a lot heavier than you'd expect. I was actually really pleasantly surprised at how solid this feels. It's got a lot of weight to it and feels like a well-built product, which is quite unexpected considering this thing costs about 45 Australian dollars. Anyway, I'm definitely not complaining. Included is a CR2 battery, which is what this works with. I'm not entirely sure why they wouldn't just go with a AA or a AAA battery, especially when you consider that a CR2 battery is actually larger in diameter than a AA battery. Now, of course, a AA battery is longer. However, the battery compartment on the dolly itself is like twice the length. So why do this? Just something to have you painfully searching through your local grocers for a CR2 battery. Also included in the packaging is this little adapter that has a quarter inch male thread on one side and a 3 8 inch male thread on the other. This is really nice to have because it allows you to adapt your camera body directly onto the dolly should you need to, but also mount any third party tripod head from which your camera will sit on. Underneath the dolly is a plastic sachet that contains an extra rubber wheel and an allen key that allows you to loosen or tighten the bolts that tighten the wheels onto the body. Now, as you would have probably noticed by now, the title of this video says Yelangu L3 when the dolly has um, something else. I literally do not know how to pronounce that. That is because this is one of those generic Chinese manufactured camera products that is sold under many different brands and names. If you do see one with a weird name, then have no fear, it is still the same exact product. In terms of functionality, this actually works pretty well. There are four ways that I've figured out how to use this in order to get some pretty interesting shots. The motor propels the dolly to two and a half centimeters per second. Unfortunately, it is only one speed. I found it to not be much of a big deal considering that you can easily slow down or speed up your footage in post. If you switch the direction of the battery, you also switch the polarity of the motor, making it spin in the other direction. I feel like that should have just been a switch on the body or something. Really weird. The battery is quoted to last about one hour with a maximum payload of six kilograms, or about nine hours when using a smartphone. That is a pretty large range. In my tests, I worked in between that weight range and I'm getting about four hours of usage. I think in general, when working with a product like this, you definitely need some spare batteries on the side just in case. It is nice that this can carry up to six kilos. However, I have found that the design of the dolly can actually sometimes cause it to not function correctly. For example, when there's a large weight bias on the two non-motor wheels, then you might find that the motor wheel cannot gain enough traction to actually move the dolly. I just feel like they could have somehow incorporated four wheels into the design to make it a little easier to use. With larger cameras, you might find yourself spending some significant time just trying to figure out what geometry or setup is actually going to work. Another drawback is that with three wheels, it is sometimes really difficult to get the camera to balance whilst getting a really low angle. And again, this comes back to the three wheel design. Three wheels are never going to be as stable as four. The motor is considerably noisy too. I'm not sure if that will be an issue for any of you, but yeah, just putting that out there. The dolly also cannot operate on any inclined surfaces or surfaces that are rough in any way. The motor simply does not have enough torque for that. Now there is actually a newer and updated version of this dolly called the Elangu L4, which features a rechargeable built-in battery, a remote control, and three different function speeds. 
However, it is double the price of the L3 and personally, I believe those extra features aren't worth the extra money and I still went for the older L3. Overall, for what it's worth, this is a really nice little camera gadget to have in your camera bag. As mentioned before, this is like a really cool party trick that you can always pull out and look like a really cool guy or girl while using it. For the price, it is a wonderful addition that is also relatively portable. Now, of course, functionality is limited. However, it is something that can help you make your shots a lot more dynamic at a very low cost. Thanks for watching and I hope that this video has been useful to you. Please drop a like or a comment if you enjoyed the video and if you didn't enjoy it, make sure to hit that dislike button twice. If you're new to the channel, then make sure you're subscribed for more videos like this if you haven't already done so. Catch you folks in the next one.